Hi guys, Borut Petrini here, Top Sheet Photography. This is my new exhibition, A New Earth, a project that I started in 2020 during the lockdown time. And I believe it's my best work until now. Furthermore, um, this is not only a photographer's work, it's also a craftsman work because I, uh, aside of uh, wooden frames, wooden part of the frames, everything else was done with these two hands. <laughs> Golden hands. Let me explain. <laughs> First of all, it's impossible. Are you ready? in the world when you have to get out, you know, you saunter out of your hotel room with a black Speedo swimsuit on. Um, project A New Earth. It's about um, human, nature, and consciousness. It's about um, taming ego. It's about um, finding peace, finding a connection with nature. It's, um, it's poetry. The exhibition starts with a poem, a poem about um, about individual, about society and expectations the society uh, holds towards an individual and basically what would happen if those expectations, those um, tasks, those roles would be cancelled, would be cut in two manners. One by dying, physically dying, or secondly, by just disappearing and start living. And the title of the, the poem is, Would you hold it against me if I would start living and not die <laughs> and become free finally? <laughs> okay. It's important to say that this time, in this exhibition, I, I was inspired very much by painters and other artists, not photographers. Most importantly, Anna Mendieta. In uh, Anna Mendieta's work, I was the most impressed and influenced by her aspect when she was performing rituals in nature. And, um, and she was nude, so... Ha, one more thing. I never, I never in my life, I never entitled my photographs one by one and this this time I did so this one is entitled ego and this one is entitled the burning ego so you can see but when I say the burning ego in Slovenian it's zgoč. so it's something you know when let's say um, you take um, I don't know some kind of something that is burning you it's not like a fire that burns you but it's like kind of corrosive uh, you know stinking you stinging you anyway burning ego Ego, a diptych. And then if we continue, 
this one, um, this one is uh, father and son. Who is father? Who is son? It's very open for interpretation. Whatever you, whatever your answer is, it's correct. Uh, this one is very interesting because um, the carbon tissue, the pigmented gelatin, peeled off a little bit here in this corner, but I loved it, so I kept it as it is. Uh, the title of this one is To Protect and Serve. Obviously, um, who is protecting and who is serving? Again, open for discussion. <laughs> maybe I'm asking for a protection and, or maybe I'm offering a protection and my service. Yep. This one is entitled, um, it's okay, everything is okay. And here is the, the poem. The poem that talks about, a poem that talks about um, two, kinds, two kinds of modus uh, vivendi. So two kinds of state of being. Yeah, another, oh, this is a diptych again. Heavy, light. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It talks about, you know, <laughs> ah, raising awareness is a, <laughs> it could be a heavy, heavy work. Actually, it contains both aspects of heavy work and light being. <laughs> This one is entitled um, Venus as a Man, but I'm, I think I will, read, I will change the title into A Birth of a Venus. Why? Because I'm inspired by, uh, by painters, you know, and I think it's an it's a appropriate title, A Birth, you know, we are talking about a birth of somebody else, like decaying, rebirthing, Eternal, eternal questions. Talking about painters. Do you know the painting of um, In Christina's World by Andrew White, or however is pronounced his surname? And I thought, oh wow, that's, that posture is really good. And I, when I read about the, this painting, I really I really knew I want to redo this, but not to redo the image, but redo the, the feeling. So this one is entitled In Christine's World. The original is Christine's World, and this one is In Christine's World. And there is a poem here. And this poem talks about uh, how we are cleansing the familiar, although it makes us unhappy. And we don't want to go for something unfamiliar, although that might make us happy. So we are talking about the um, fear of unknown and the comfort of known, in spite that known is, doesn't make us happy. <laughs> Does that make sense? Do you know what I'm talking about? Of course you do. It's a human, it's a human condition. Okay, this one. Lovers. Lovers. A sacrifice. This one is one of my... This was actually, I think, my first one. That I worked on it. On it. First one, yeah. And then 
in one version I have this uh, body in focus, but then I realize it's so much better if, if it's unfocused, you know, if this is like this rotten, rotten um, tree trunk is kind of like a, like a sacrifice, uh, what is the word? Altar, altar. Yeah, and these trees are like, um, actually what I, what, I, what I feel about these trees, they're singing a song. They're kind of like a, a virgins that are singing a song of sacrifice. The next one, the next one is almost like Samson. You know the story about Samson, right? And Delilah? And how, you know, this scene when he's pushing away the columns. So Samson was half God and um, he had been betrayed by, uh, by his lover. And, and then on the end they die together. This one, this one is uh, entitled Shallow Grave. And um, yeah, as you can see, it's in a, in a shallow grave. Um, here I used some experimental um, methods. As you can see, you, you know in wet plate you have this hesitation mark. So here the whole plate is in a hesitation mark. So I have this kind of, in the blacks, I have this kind of patterns of uh, boiling silver nitrate. I really love that. If you remember right, right in the beginning there was like this uh, ego and burning ego. And then this tragedy is like Greek tragedy happens. And here we have a shallow grave. Basically, it talks about the dying, right? And dying ego. With this one, uh, decomposure, decom decomposition is called. And the poem here talks about, um, this poem talks about a present moment and um, eternity that it hides in the present moment. So this wall is dying ego. It's a tragedy and so on, but here is a rebirth. <laughs> here I wanted to finish in a, in a positive, in a positive manner. Let me show you how I've done it. This one um, is entitled A Love Story because it's a love story between straight lines, the curves, two beings covering their backs. It's kind of very peaceful and very loving feeling. It's something that I felt when I took this image. And finishing with, with these two. This is again a diptych. This one is a, a handprint. And this one is a, entitled a footprint. You know, in today's time, we are talking about carbon footprint. It's not only a carbon footprint, that's a small thing, but it's a consciousness footprint is what is actually matters. Because if we are raising the consciousness, also the carbon footprint will go down. That's why I, what, what I firmly believe. So, um, and this hand is not, it's retouched on the negative. It's not on the, on, the, on the tree. And I'm finishing very lastly on the end, I'm finishing with this beautiful poem that also I wrote. And this poem talks about, um... okay guys, I hope you enjoy my show. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm super happy with this project. I worked so hard. Like in last month, I went more often to bed at 4 a.m. than at, uh, <laughs> before midnight. I worked really like continuously every single day, every Sunday, uh, but it was worth it. I'm really, really, I think it was worth it. I think. And, um, and now have like, here are 18, no, 16 images, no, 17 images. I will, I will make another 10 
or 15, and then I'll make a book. Thank you to everybody that helped me with this project, uh, which is uh, the most importantly is the curator who invited me. Uh, her name is Andrea Rakovets. And uh, Yaki and Paula, my neighbors, who helped me with the frames, with the, and Michael and Jean, who helped me to put up the, up the show. Thank you for watching and uh, top.